Welcome to part two of our Celebrity Infinity Cruise in Greece and Turkey. When last I left you off in part one, we had just arrived to the cruise port. There was no traffic at all near the ship. The taxi driver was able to drive us right up to a tent that they had set up for the embarkation process. There were people to take our luggage immediately and we were able to head inside right away to check in. So much open space inside for waiting, but we really didn't have to wait because the line was so short. <laughs> Show them the line, how big the line is. And there were plenty of people checking everyone in, so we were in this line less than five minutes. And then we headed to the departure area, went through security, which again, took almost no time at all. I'm showing you some footage of the port because there were a couple of cute duty-free shops there. If you ever leave from Athens, maybe you wanna check it out. And I would say from start to finish, the entire boarding process took less than 15 minutes, if that, maybe even 10. Oh, here we are. And of course, first things first, whenever you board, you have to make some obligatory bragging video and photos. So here's us with our, we're on a cruise video. So also we had no idea, but this was Celebrity Infinity's first sailing post dry dock. And they were still working on her, still sprucing her up, painting her. Guess what, baby? What? This ship is only running at 60% capacity. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that is correct. While we were in the buffet, because naturally we have to eat as soon as we board a ship, it's the law of cruising. You must eat first thing. But we heard from multiple crew members that the ship only had about 1,200 people on board. Now, the Celebrity Infinity holds 2,100 passengers. So she was sailing at a little bit over 50% capacity. And we found out this information over our first meal in the buffet. Now, as some as you know, cruising popularity is at an all-time high right now. Look at the new mega ship Icon of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. They're pretty much sold out for the next year. It is a rare occurrence to get on a ship this empty. And this is what I think happened. If you've been following us, you know that the original itinerary for this cruise was Egypt and Israel. For obvious reasons, they let us know about two months ago that the itinerary had been changed. When they made the destination changes, they did offer a full refund. So I think a lot of people decided last second to opt out on this cruise. Gary and I had never been to Greece before, so we decided to keep the cruise. And as a result, we both got extra onboard spending money. And here we are, the first meals. And you know I got to zoom in on that trivia because that's such a rare sight for hey, a baby, ship. Hey, baby, what'd you get? What's your first meal? A salad, raspberry dressing, and uh, a little bit of... Persecuto. Persecuto. <laughs> Persecuto. Persecuto. <laughs> Let me know how it stands up. <laughs> Delish. Well, hello. Welcome to our cabin. If you have a step this way. Ooh. <laughs> Nice balcony cabin. Yes. Let's let's start over here. Let's start right here. With the uh, closet space. We got two robes here. See? Can you open the other side? It's hard to see from here. Open which side? That side also. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> lots of hangers. Yeah. All right. What's in here? A safe and an umbrella. Ooh. 
And uh, the bathroom is here. Watch your step, it says. The toilet, the sink, lots of space down here. Lots and lots of space. Now we get uh, uh, tissues included. And uh, more space here. There's the trash. This is different. And uh, more space here. Uh, we have shelves here for our stuff. And we have a nice big shower. I like how big the shower is. And you can take this off. I like that. So that's cool. And here's a better view of the bathroom. We were on the Celebrity Summit over the summer and they are in the same class of ship and we found that the Celebrity Summit had way more room upgrades than Celebrity Infinity. Even though this ship was just in dry dock, I don't think they did many upgrades to the rooms. And we have a nice TV here that swivels like that. And uh, here's our fridge. It's, uh, it's packed with sodas and booze. And here's some more space above the TV. Lots of space in there. Yeah. We'll have uh, no problem with putting away our stuff. That's great. And the TV swivels. Love that. Great. And uh, this will be my spot for the TV. Any USBs there, babe? Uh, no USBs. Any USBs on your side? Let's see. No USB. None at all. Then we have a kind of a mirror here. We have uh, two plugins, the fours actually. So we'll create our own USBs. We have mirrors, so many mirrors. It's great. Two full length mirrors and a half body shot there. Nice. I like it. And we have a little nice couch area here. This is really comfortable. Most of them are hard. This is really nice. I like this. <laughs> Our balcony and uh, a desk area here and here's our balcony uh, it's certainly big enough we won't be out here very much because it's gonna be coolish while we're here uh, high 50s 60s and as you can see it's partial view I wasn't aware of that but uh, still we have a balcony so we have plenty of light going into the room so we're here for 10 days and we're gonna have a blast Here's the bed. It's a little on the hard side, but I like that because I won't be able to feel her when she moves around and vice versa. <laughs> and of course, since we were able to board the ship so early and quickly, we had plenty of time to explore. Loads of beautiful art and of course, what is lunch without a second dessert? I got these cupcakes from Cafe El Baccio. And don't worry too much. If you know me, you know I only eat the icing. Not that that's great, but it's not as bad as eating four whole cupcakes. And so begins the sail away process. We usually watch sail away from our cabin, but we went all over for this sail away. We started in the solarium, then we headed up on to deck 11 to get a better view. And it was definitely starting to get chilly at this point. For the entire cruise, the weather was low 60s during the day and 50s at night, but of course on the water, that can be quite chilly. This is just to show you, no one really came out for the sail away party. It was just too cold. But the sunset was just so beautiful during sail away that we could just not bring ourselves to go inside. At least not right away. Then finally, I couldn't take it anymore. So we stepped into the Constellation Lounge, which is still on deck 11 and watched the rest of it from there. Still very magical and beautiful. As you can see, a few other people had the same idea. And before you knew it, it was time to go to the main dining room for our first meal. 
And even though the ship was sailing at such low capacity, I was still concerned about having to wait in line for dinner. When we did the Celebrity Summit, there was at least a half hour line to eat the first two evenings. Not the case and never the case on this sailing. The main dining room never got too crowded. There was always loads of space and Zoom in on the Truvia again. Thank you so much, Celebrity Cruise Lines. What's this one? Sun-dried tomato, regular, and then horseradish. And I forgot, Celebrity is the line that serves different flavors of butter with your bread every single night in the main dining room. And they also serve escargot every single night as an appetizer. You know if you want it, if you're into that sort of thing, which we are. I had at least two orders of escargot every evening. I think one night I had five. And here was our first meal. I believe we had the duck this evening, and of course, it was very delicious. A month, so now we are extremely happy to have you back, not just us as a team, but. The first day of the cruise is also usually the day they have a bunch of giveaways. So I tried to win some jewelry. I was unsuccessful, but you gotta try, especially at a ship with half capacity. And then it was off to the theater to see our very first production show. Well, technically, I don't think that they considered this specific show a production show. It was more like a cabaret with the singers from the production cast. And if you saw our Celebrity Summit videos, which I highly recommend you go back and watch if you haven't, we had a lot of bones to pick with the entertainment. Our issue wasn't with the talent hired, it was with the production value. The sets on the Celebrity Summit were very minimalist, the costumes were very modern and boring. Since the Infinity is the same class of ship as the Summit, we were very interested to see how the entertainment compared. But first we got to meet our cruise director, Kelly. Yes to have you cruising with us here for our inaugural cruise back here to the Aegean on the beautiful cool. Infinity. Now our first night together, a great opportunity to get to know each other a little bit. We met the band already. My name is Kelly and it is my pleasure to be here serving as your cruise director looking after all of the great entertainment and activity oh. options. And I come from a small country town outside of Melbourne, Australia. Did you guys hear Kelly say inaugural cruise? Okay, it was the inaugural cruise after being on dry dock for two weeks. But still, I've never been on an inaugural cruise before. So it was kind of exciting to hear that. And then what did I say about the costumes on Celebrity Summit? They were modern and boring. Here, as you can see, at least we already have a gown and some glitter. So already, first show in, we are ahead of the summit. The talent was never a complaint of mine, and as you can hear from that little clip, the singers were amazing. So this is where I'm going to leave you with part two of our Celebrity Infinity Cruise. Part three will be coming soon. In our upcoming vlog videos about this cruise, we'll get more into the food and the quality of it. We will also get into each port in detail. So please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button with the notification bell on. The notification bell will alert you when our next video comes out. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment box below. We love hearing from you. 
Until the next video, we hope you live your best cruise life.